Hi folks and welcome back to another episode of Through the Keyhole. Now, you know the rules of the game. I'm going to show you some clues. You're going to tell me who lives at this beautiful abode here in sunny, not so sunny, Chichester. Don't worry, sunny mate. Stop talking. Now, the first clue is right here in the driveway. There is someone at this address who does struggle with their sexuality somewhat. But with a car like this in the driveway, we like to make it difficult for the neighbours to guess which one. Now, come on in. So as we make our way into the property, we first enter the main living area. Now, there aren't many clues in this room, but um, the biggest clue is the 65-inch plasma television, which is predominantly used to watch David Attenborough documentaries and indeed football. We make our way through into the generous kitchen dining area. Now, it's worth noting that none of the uh, appliances here in the kitchen are owned by the main occupant himself. However, there is clues in here, and the clues are predominantly found in the occupant's only cupboard in the kitchen. If we have a look inside, we have the constituent parts to make the infamous Jaeger bomb beef hula hoops and indeed Haribo star mix. You join me here in the cellar. Now the main occupant of the house decided that he liked red wine about three four months ago and has never shut up about it since. So this is the latest addition to the house um, and as you can see is fully stocked awaiting our pleasant guests. Now, the downstairs loo. Now, if you had ran 12 marathons in your life and you were about to run two more, we're best to display your medals, your life's achievement, in the place where James Warren comes to shed. So you join me here in the main boudoir. Now, the one thing that draws your attention immediately is the fact that there is only one pillow. Now, this has been brought up with the occupant many times because in order to attract any female friends to stay the night, he's going to have to invest in more than one, as one suggests that he spends a little bit too much solo time in this bed on his own. And to the garden. Now, for the past three months, the occupant has been um, rinsing his friends and his housemate for free labour in order to get this done on time. And it's all for you, our invited guests. So join us here on the 26th of June to find out who the occupant of this beautiful house is. You need to remind him of time. Well, it doesn't work if you fucking keep talking, does it?